Okay, this okay, is a little this is tip a little that tip we that developed, we developed uh, to help out with the uh, flu condensate issues uh, that sometimes occur in the flu elbow coming off the draft inducer. Uh, sometimes this elbow uh, cannot handle uh, the larger amounts of condensate that we see during certain applications. Uh, that water can start to pool up here and it can start to affect either our single or two stage pressure switches. So step one, pull the flu elbow off. Make sure that we don't have any debris, uh, any PVC shavings uh, or any plastic parting material from the factory stuck in this drain port here. Make sure that's all clear. Second, reinstall the flu elbow on here. Uh, but then when you do, take a Sharpie and make a mark right here onto the gray flu transition. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this clamp loose and we're going to take this clamp loose. Then we're going to take the four screws uh, on the very top up here, loose. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to go ahead and just take them out. Of course, this will be a little bit different with a flue pipe attached. I'd have to use a ratchet or a wrench to get around uh, your flue pipe to get these screws out. And what we're going to do is we're going to push this up. Push that up about an eighth, eighth to a quarter of an inch. So you can see where my mark used to be. Now it's up just a little bit. I got a nice eighth of an inch gap there. Now go ahead and tighten, tighten this clamp up. But leave this one loose. Now we'll go ahead and put our four screws back in the top. As I tighten these screws down, you will see that since this clamp is tight, I'm putting a lot of pressure down on this transition, and it's forcing this elbow to sit in here at an angle. It's forcing that elbow to sit in there slightly crooked, so it puts the drain port at the very bottom. So it gives me uh, a nice downward angle for that water to collect and drain out. Once I'm done with that, I can go ahead and tighten this clamp onto the draft inducer. And now you can see the flue elbow is sitting in there at a nice downward slope, collecting all the condensate at the outlet and protecting my draft inducer and pressure switch from additional con uh, condensate. Um, of course, the condensate collector collar is always a nice add-on feature you can put in the vent pipe up here, and that will uh, help reduce condensate that's coming back from your flue uh, and your venting system. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know.